for those that viewed my previous video, I did a obstacle avoidance test with the Q Revo with the new firmware update 213.20 on hardwood floors. Today I'm going to run an obstacle avoidance test on carpets and see if it does just as well. As you can see, the Q Revo comes out and just lightly nudges the disposable cup but does eventually acknowledge it's there and goes around it and after that no longer bumps into it. So in this test I did two more of the disposable cups and as you can see the Q Revo comes around the corner lightly nudges the cup again goes around it then continues on to the second cup realizes that second cup is there, lightly nudges it again, and then eventually goes around it. Next, I thought it would be fun to put a small gnome, a rabbit, what I think it is a squirrel, a shoe, and an unexpected dog in the way of the Q Revo, and see how it handles it on carpet. Unfortunately for the dog, it didn't manage to tag it uh, on its way out. At this point, you could see the Q Revo nudging into the shoe, but it does eventually acknowledge it's there and goes around it. This is definitely much better than what it did the first time. I set up the Q Revo and it ran through everything without even thinking about what was in front of it. Now here the little rabbit was just slightly nudged but once again Q Revo managed to figure out what it was or at least figure out that there was an object there and then continued on its path around it. Now here you can see it's coming up to the squirrel or whatever it may be and does bump it and drops it but thereafter it does go around it not really making a whole lot more uh, touches on it and figures out it's there. As it continues on, it comes back just missing the gnome. But as you can see, it comes back. It 
taps the gnome, nudges it around, but eventually goes around the gnome. So many might say, well, it's not really avoiding a whole lot of anything, but the reality is, if you look at some uh, other YouTubers who ran tests on the QRevo with its original firmware, it ran through everything, and now at least it's beginning to acknowledge the different obstacles that are in front of it, and eventually, as you can see, it knows it's there, and it will just go around those objects and no longer touch them. So I think with further updates on this QRevo, we might see this competing against some of the higher end robot vacuums with cameras on them. Only time will tell, but I can say that QRevo or more like Roborock is definitely making the investment to try to remedy this issue. If you like this video, uh, please subscribe. I'm new to YouTube and as far as creating YouTube videos and just getting started. So anyone subscribing, I would really appreciate it. And if you enjoy this, give it a thumbs up and leave comments uh, in the bottom there if you have any questions or anything to say about the video. Thank you.